Ladies and gentlemen. What is going on, geeks, comic book freaks? It's Bam down at Wizards Alley. Favorite day of the week, new comic book day. Uh, let's just dive right into it. Uh, this week, uh, I'm going to start off with the youth pick, kids pick, young readers pick. Uh, I'm trying to get better about ordering more stuff I think young readers will get because I think if we want to keep comics around, we should get young people in reading comics. So uh, the kids pick this week is Corella DeVille. Uh, it's not rocket surgery. It's a pretty simple Corella DeVille story, uh, but it's good for young readers. I think they'll enjoy it. Uh, so the, from the Disney villain series, uh, Corella DeVille will be my young young pick. Also, I've got a I've got a couple honorable mentions this week, but I'll get it into them at the end. And I have a new product from DC Comics of all things. That's why you won't see a DC Comics pick in these picks, is because like the very end is is all DC Comics. But we'll get there. Frank sign number one, uh, sucker for Universal monsters. I'll always read them. It's pretty much the. The Frankenstein story for the most part and uh, a little bit different at the end so I like seeing where they're going with it they did a good job with a uh, creature from the black lagoon they did a great job with dracula so the universal monsters kind of keep hitting hard and people are after them so other people are enjoying reading them in addition to you know all those people that will buy anything universal monsters all right that'd be my first pick second teenage mutant ninja turtles number two it's kind of interesting it's neat you know the turtles are out in the public to a certain extent and it's just the continued adventures of the boys. Uh, it's still a good jumping on point because number one is still available and out there. And you can get number two pretty quickly this week. Next one, Avengers Assemble. Uh, I'm not sure about this team. Uh, it's Captain America, Shang-Chi, Photon, Hawkeye, She-Hulk, Hercules, Wonder Man. And uh, I, I don't know. But the first issue was good. It was a good read. Uh, the villain was pretty decent. There was some action in it. And at the end, there was a plot twist to show where it's going. And I liked it. So I'm going to keep giving this book a read and see what happens. Um, Exceptional X-Men was a stinker. Uh, I hope this one doesn't turn out to be a stinker. But uh, I liked I liked Avengers Assemble. Also, for all my Star Wars people out there, Star Wars 50. Uh, this is the end of the long run of, of just the Star Wars name series. So number 50 ends this, and in, uh, in October they relaunch uh, a few different series. I think uh, the Battle of Jakku, there's an Ewoks book, some other things. But as far as the Star Wars run itself, uh, issue 50 is where they're capping that story and calling it a day. And it's worth picking up. It's an oversized issue. It's a good long read. There's several parts to it. Um, probably my favorite pick of the week. I saved to the last for comic books. Uh, but this is my dude, man. Wolverine. Wolverine number one uh, hits the shelves today. It, it looks dope. I'm going to wait till I get home and I can digest it. I am simply picking this book because it's a new jumping on point for Wolverine. It's Wolverine number one. There's also different variant covers. I love this Peach Momoko cover. There's a couple other super cool covers that are on the shelf that you can grab for this book. Uh, so Wolverine number one is my hype pick. And uh, I'll do it. I'll do a deep dive of it later and let you guys know what I think. So the the big one that I think is cool this week, um, DC is doing what's a different format, and they're doing these these compact comics, and they put these compact comics all in one book. So Batman: The Court of the Owl Saga is like contained completely within this book. All the stuff is in there. It's all in color. It's all the issues that tell a complete story arc, start to finish. They're ten dollars. It's a ten dollar um, complete comic book series. So there's uh, Batman: The Court of the Owls, which if you are a fan of Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo, they brought you know some new lore into the Batman with this story and new new things into the Batman mythos with this book. And, and it's start to finish. It's all there. The other one was All Star Superman. And All-Star Superman is kind of what the new Superman movie is being based on loosely. Uh, so if you want to see where they go from the movie based on the book, uh, it's a $10 compact read start to finish. And then one of the classics, uh, there's some controversy around this. You can hate it, you can love it. But if you don't have the story, you have to get it somewhere. And sometimes those issues are hard to find. Is uh, They did print Alan Moore's Watchmen. So um, Alan Moore does not make a whole lot of money off of Watchmen at all because DC did him dirty back in the day. But Watchmen is a classic comic book tale and to see it all collected and all in graphic form in one place where you can grab it and read it um, is amazing. And Dave Gibbons art 
uh, when I was a kid, was, was one of the dudes that really inspired me to go on and be an artist. Um, so the DC Comic uh, Compact Books, great value at $10. You know, we pay four bucks, five bucks for a comic off the shelf nowadays. For a little bit more money, you can have a complete run of a story and sit down and read it start to finish. So that's uh, that's the big thing from DC that's on the shelf this week that's pretty cool. Uh, come down to see us. Uh, if you see something you like, you have a book you're into that I haven't caught wind of, uh, let me know about your book, I like read new stuff. Uh, if we can't spread the words about books and things that we like, we can, we can keep this comic book thing alive. Uh, there's some rumors that comic books might be coming back to grocery stores, which is where a lot of us got our start as kids being readers. Um, I'd like to keep this going. I, I love comic books. It's an American art form, and uh, it's it's something that America created and has been all over the world and, and influenced the world is it, it, comic books. So it's an art form worth keeping alive. It's an art form worth being into. It's an art wor form worth supporting. So come down, support comic books at your shop. I don't care where you buy comics, just buy comics. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.